guys, it is finally crawfish time. And what better way to start off the crawfish video with two mating crawfish. We've got a red, white, and blue crawfish mating with the blue crawfish. Man, they're violent when they mate. My goodness. We've got all these babies in here already. Yeah, they're everywhere. So we're gonna get all these guys out. And if y'all seen the crawfish before, I put them in a little tub, that way everybody can see them really good. And then we'll go from there. We've already got the pond inside. Like uh, this is off the Onyx video. So yeah, well guys, we're just getting things done. So like I said, you can see still same shirt, same, you know, this is right after the Onyx video. Just going ahead and getting things going. I am super excited if you couldn't tell from the last video about doing this crawfish video. I mean, this 40 gallon breeder to that big old tub, they're gonna have so much more room, it's ridiculous. So guys, here we go again. And I did wanna show y'all before I even fill this thing up, that we have got a wall of just concrete blocks here, plus the weight of this to help this from bowing out so bad because it does bow out. So, but yeah, it'll just kind of help things along, especially when Onyx gets bigger and starts pushing on it. So, but I think this is a perfect spot for it right there. I mean, I got plenty of room in the garage to do what I need to do in the garage. Just got to find a home for a lot of this stuff. But guys, let's do it. And just, cut, and just in case no one's ever seen what a mating pair of crawfish look like, and it's quite crazy. And like I said, it's very violent. So we're trying to block the, there we go, that'll work. But yeah, PDA, PDA. All right, we got everything out so far. So now it's just time to get some crawfish out and put them in a bucket. Okay, so there's a lot more babies than I thought there was. There is a ton of baby crawfish. So cool. I'll turn you around. Wayner Snizzle's working hard, trying to catch two at once. You know, it's a goal right now. Look at that little guy. My goodness, but look at them all, guys. They're absolutely everywhere, and we just started. My goodness. That's the big blue that was just mating. So, yeah, we've got a long ways to go. Yeah, there's a lot more than we thought there was. Um, mm hmm. Let's we'll just turn you around and show it to you. Well, hopefully, we can get a good view in here. But, guys, count the crawfish. Oh, my goodness. And then. You come over to here and we'll try not to, but they're still just absolutely, well, can't really get a good view of them. Yeah, they're still everywhere. Oh, there's another big one in there. All I can say is just, wow. I didn't know I had that many crawfish. I have a problem. I need Crawfish Anonymous. All right, guys, we ran into a small problem. That had a small drip on it. I never realized it broke it in because they poured the concrete in there. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something to get that fixed. JB welded or something. Just can't go perfectly, huh? But JB weld, duct tape, you name it, fixes everything. Oh, I hope. All right, guys, we're back. I have got some JB weld, and I'm about to JB weld the tar out of this thing. We do have two beautiful algae eaters right here that also came out of there, but don't know what to do with them right now. So we're gonna let them chill here in this bowl. I did fill this up more, but it's a crowded house right now. But gotta get this fixed so we can get them in there. All right, guys, I have got this thing JB welded. So, and I've got the crawfish in my aerator cooler that I made. So they have constant air going on. Yeah, it's a smaller space, but 
in the long run it's going to work out so i'll turn you around and show you what i got going on all right so yeah we have just jb well with the dog doo doo out of that thing we're gonna let it sit and cure and do its thing and we'll water test it again oh i do want to show you the amount of rocks that i had in this tank it is crazy but everybody's doing good they're chilling in there aerators are running i've got plenty of batteries to let this stuff set well so give me a little bit and then we'll figure it out from there because this stuff's really got to set but once this stuff sets it's like concrete it is it's stronger than concrete this stuff's never going i'll never get that plug off so i've even fixed stuff on my roof with jb weld yeah it's good to go so but guys let's get this till tomorrow and we'll pick it back up tomorrow i gotta feed the family they're hungry they're hangry is what they are so a little setback but we're fixing it all right party people no it's not the next morning it's still drying doing its thing but i was just out here enjoying myself there's oreo that i can't get out we, we've tried a hundred times today but out, finger out of here enjoying my turtle pond playing some naruto and yes i'm shikaku but guys it's so nice to be able to sit out here and i can't wait until this is done i just wanted to share it with you it's a nice night it's beautiful outside and this is quite nice to sit next to all right guys day two so things are looking good that's looking really good and i have left this as is because you don't know what's going to pop up what's going to come out of the mud i found snails and today I actually found a baby crawfish and he's still down there. So let's take a look at him. So yeah, I came out here looking and he's just chilling like a villain. Little bitty baby. So I'll continue to look in here. We're gonna let, it's Easter. Or we're gonna let this sit all day and get out what climbs out. We don't wanna lose anybody, you know what I'm saying? So. But with breeding crawfish like this, it's crazy having so many. And you probably don't want to know this, but every once in a while, Puff Daddy gets a crawfish. Puff Daddy loves crawfish and that helps his chompers. So, yeah, kind of breeding my own grub and my own beautiful things all at the same time. So, like I said, this thing is solid as a rock. So it's probably been what, 10 hours? So it should be good. I don't know, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. Oh, and I guess since I just cut that clip out, I did move the crawfish into the large cooler with the aerator going on here. That's not battery powered, so I knew the aerator would be on all night. And everybody seems to be doing just fine and dandy. But it gave them a little bit more room too. Just trying to make everything work since we ran into a huge problem so but hopefully this thing will stay rock stop rock solid and steady and all the good stuff that i'm trying to say but otherwise guys happy easter all right party people i forgot where we are in this video right now but i think this is good to go i'm going to go ahead and get it set where it needs to be get it filled up get the quick start going get the dechlorinator going let these guys chill in here for the rest of the day while this is doing this thing, and I believe we're actually gonna use this pump for this pond. So it's a 50 gallon pond, so that should be overkill on filtration. But guys, Onyx is loving this pond. I, I, I really wish I would've got him earlier. He was just sitting up and just enjoying it. But y'all can go to my Instagram, DS, DSB Animals underscore, or DSB underscore animals, let me get it out. Has the most beautiful picture of him on there. But guys, he's loving it. He loves the sun. He's going to get so much more sun. So, yeah. And he's just chilling like a villain. You know, back here, he couldn't get no sun. Like I said, I usually check out my footage and stuff, but I'm just kind of going with it right now. I'm on a time crunch because we're about to go to Nani's 
and have the most amazing Easter day ever. She's doing like Thanksgiving style food, I guess. Candy yams, ham, she's going all out. So yeah, I'm about to be all kinds of full fat and happy, you know what I'm saying? So let me get it put together and show you what it's gonna look like. And then guys, happy Easter. All right, guys, so that pump is actually not gonna work unless I figure out something to keep them from crawling up the hose and crawling out. You see what I'm saying? Crawfish can climb on just about anything. So as we are now, a little crawfish jungle gym, they have so many things to crawl in and out of, it's ridiculous. But I've got, I got, I'll figure out something. But right now they can't really get to that cord to climb out. So yeah, I mean guys, we're slowly but surely getting there. Uh, brains are working. You ever heard that there's a brain fart, you think of something and you can't think of it? But anyways, I might have another turtle filter like that. If not, I'll pick one up, you know, and put one on the side there and do my thing there. But right now I think it looks pretty good. They're not able to crawl up the sides of these, so that's a good thing. You know, crawfish are escape artists. So right now, guys, I'm pretty happy with it. We're just gonna let it sit and chill. So, yeah, give me some time, guys. All right, we're gonna let this sit and chill, do its thing. I do have this pump just to pump it away now. So we have this pump pumping in Onyx's tank and we have this pump pumping in Onyx tank. So we've got like, yeah, double filtration going on, which is a good thing for this big old tub. But guys, I was just thinking of something and uh, tell me what you think. First, we'll give you the good old overview of everything I get to enjoy. Isn't that awesome? And then, yeah, we'll just turn it around real quick and let's do some talking. Okay. My idea. Sponge filter. I've never used sponge filters before and I see them all the time. Let's we'll just put a sponge filter in this thing. Get a big sponge pitch filter, put it in the middle, they can climb around it and do their thing. And it'll filtrate the 50 gallon pond. You know, I can even keep the turtle filter there. Tell me what you guys think, but I think it's a good idea. But yeah, this little 50 gallon pond's pretty neat, guys. I like it. And in the long run, I know there's gonna be some of you guys out there, oh, they're gonna get out and you're just gonna hoot and holler, bring it, I like it, I love it. But I can cover this. I can get some wire mesh or something to go over the top of this. So, but I very vigilant on watching my animals and we'll see how they do. If I need to, I will. But guys, I have gone over my time frame. It's Easter, I gotta change. All right, guys, we are back. Baby bear and wiener stencils here. We're gonna put the crawfish in the pond. I definitely will keep a close eye on them, guys. Uh, I'll probably end up putting the top on it anyways. I'll figure something out. Still gotta figure out filtration. I didn't have time to get by the pet store, so they've got an aerator. They'll be okay until I get something else. So guys, we're gonna get the crawfish in the pond. We'll show you the crawfish and we'll land it. You know, we'll update you later on down the road of what filtration I get. So we've got filtration going on. Shiloh's gonna figure it out sooner or later so that the crawfish will get them. So baby bear, get you a scoop. Nice. Come on, guys. And yes, I decided not to go sand this time. They can dig in the in the pea gravel. But I'd like to see them more. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Oh, man. We have a lot of crawfish, guys. A lot of these big blues. Oh, let him go. Y'all were probably, they were probably doing a dirty. Well, there's all kinds of places for them to go and hide into right now. Got some of the little guys going on. Nice. Well, I might have to check on that one. Give me a minute. Up close and personal. Guys, we've had two casualties so far. 
So let's get the rest of these guys in here and I'll, I'll show you the casualties. But they're, crawfish are violent. They are extremely violent. So um, let's get the rest of these guys in here. We'll show you the two casualties because one was a blue and one was a red, white, and blue. But it's part of being in the cooler. Yeah, I made it bigger for them, but it happens. All right, these guys are finding their spot. I got these two over here chilling. They're trying to make sure there's no babies because there's a lot of the tiny ones and we want to make sure we get everybody. <laughs> so we're just kind of slowly draining it and see who comes out. I think that's all of them. And they might've got all of them. But these were our two casualties, guys. One of the big blues. It sucks, but it happens. And one of the red, white, and blues. So we'll see what happens. These guys are chilling, doing their thing. They're trying to find new homes and knowing crawfish, they're trying to find a way out. So we will see what happens. Oh, I'll find a spot. All right, everybody. Um, took the turtle filter off. I'm going to have to buy a new filter tomorrow. That's all there is to it. Um, got the aerator going on in there right now. They'll be fine until I get the new filter. But yeah, with the cord hanging out, they'd be able to climb up it and go. And yeah, it's just a mess. So yeah, let's turn you around and end it, guys. I don't know if I'm going to put a light on here or not. But they're all kind of, you know, found their little spots they want to hang out. You know, crawfish like to hide. They're in there, trust me. But took that filter off, stuck the hose through there. Might be a little high, but we will see. Hey guys, I kind of like my two little ponds side by side. So on that note, guys, we are going to end it. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. We had a great Easter. Yes, I stuffed my belly. I tell you what, it was good stuff. There was no diet today. So guys, on that note, like I always say, I appreciate you watching. And until next time.